This episode of Garbage Sports Talk is brought to you by... I don't fucking know. Hey, Kev. Kev, you there, Kev? Fuck off, Gibby. I'm doing something. Oh, you're trying to go 12 0 and B, are you ugly fucking gerbil looking fucking waste of a fucking dill pickle chip? Hey, fuck you! No, fuck you! You worthless sack of sh- I have never in my life seen. I need to take my sweater off. I may or may not have pit stains now. So. My fuck, I'm tired now. Could I first start off by saying that this is. This is way overdue? This guy has driven this team into the abyss. I can't believe that I, I saw many comments from people saying Gibby's not even a bad manager. Gibby's not a bad manager. That's like saying Gary Sanchez has solid defense. I don't know how you defend him. How does anybody sit there and say this guy isn't a bad manager? What has what is, what is he done to be a decent manager? The only argument you could make for him not being a decent manager is that he didn't make the team. Alright. Well, he didn't make the team when Troy Tulowitzki, well, Josh Donaldson pretty much carried the team to the playoffs. Gibby, you still there? I said fuck you. Gibby, don't take this out on me, alright? I'm not the one who stinks at managing. One more word out of you, I swear to God. I'll come to your house and I'll pour apple juice all over your floor. Mark Shapiro and Ross Atkins finally making a decent decision? I don't know why. For some reason, when I when I look at Mark Shapiro and Ross Atkins, I, I can only think of Bert and Ernie. I don't like wishing people jobless or anything, but I mean... Managing is not Gibbons' forte. Wait a minute. Who's going to be the next manager? They hold an open tryouts or something? Imagine the news where this is just one of those reports where it isn't true. I don't know what I'd do. I am almost at a loss for words. I don't even know what else to say. I could have just made this video of just me screaming for fucking five minutes. Well, that might be what it is anyway. Who's the worst manager? John Gibbons or Bobby Valentine when he managed the Red Sox? I'm sure Gibbons is a cool guy off the field, but managing? What the fuck is that shit? The rats in my walls that might be nibbling on my wires could probably manage a team better than him. Why did they even bring him back when Shapiro and Atkins walked in the door? From, from that point, it automatically didn't make sense. Imagine Vladdy struggling for a week or something like that and then Gibbons or Brooke Jacoby, that motherfucker. Imagine one of those guys trying to tell Vladdy that he's struggling and to change something. Imagine Brooks Jacoby say, hey Vladdy man, change your swing a little bit, this is what you should do. Vladdy will probably be like, this might be the best thing that's happened to the Blue Jays since 2015. 2016, 15. You know who they should bring in next? Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi would actually get mad at somebody for doing something bad. 
fucking stupidest mistake you would ever see to Oscar in left field. Dropping routine fly balls left, right, and center. Every game. Walks back to the dugout. Gibbons. All right, buddy, let's go. Next time. This team, man. Watch the Orioles play, and then watch the Blue Jays play. The, the fucking Blue Jays. Everybody, Kendrys Morales skipping around, jumping around, smiling from ear to ear. Yeah, nice season, buddy. You think Gibbons is fucking saying anything to those guys? Get him out of here! Man! I can't believe this has gone on for so long. People are saying in the comments, oh, Gibbons is a manager. What the fuck are you watching? It's late in the fucking game, this guy goes to Aaron Loop out of the bullpen. And tell me he's a good manager. Fuck. Fuck. Thank God, man. Thank God. Can't stand watching this team with this guy running the show. Bring anybody else in. I don't give a shit who it is. Bobby Valentine. Fuck sakes, man. I'm just sick of sitting, sitting there watching the game. Fucking circus every day. Blue Jays. You want to watch? You want to see what real life MLB The Show 18 is? Watch the Blue Jays. Battle Royale. It's fucked up. Donaldson is probably loving life that he's gone now. Why wouldn't he? He's out of that toxic ass environment. It's like the people who defend Gibbons saying he's a decent manager are saying, oh, well, I don't think one motherfucker, who was it? I don't even remember. I was watching some talk show. This guy was going on about, oh, well, I think that not every manager could have managed that 2015 Blue Jays team and took them to the playoffs. Are you fucking kidding me? So the reason why they made the playoffs is because of John Gibbons is what that guy was saying pretty much. I had nothing to do with Donaldson, Tulowitzki, Bautista, Edwin. Nope, not those guys. Nothing to do with it. It was that man. I swear to God, if they brought Gibbons back next season, I wouldn't have even watched. No. Well, maybe, because Vladdy would be there. Well, if Vladdy's not there, then no fucking chance. I just can't even believe this organization is doing something that makes sense. That's, that's, I'm, 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 I'm Wow. Anyway, that will probably be it for this video. I don't know what else to say because like I said, I could have just, I could have honestly just hit record and said, thank you, Jesus. And that would have been it. Whew. I need to go change my shirt. I am sweating. I may have lost five pounds from, from the fluid, from the spit and the sweat. I might be stuck in this chair.